point. Hey guys, we're in the uh, we're in Dustin's shop here. Um, we're shooting a little bit this afternoon, and we did a couple little tweaks to our bows and stuff of that nature. But we we got to talking, and we figured we'd go ahead and share with y'all what we shot this past fall and what we're going to be shooting this spring for sure on some long beards. And more than likely, this equipment will carry over towards this fall hunting season also. But uh, we just figured we'd let y'all know what we're shooting in case y'all are ever curious. But uh, I'll let Dustin go first. So well, I'm always, <laughs> well, I've always been a, uh, a kind of an elite fan. First time I picked up an elite bow, I was looking for a bow that had a nice smooth back wall to it and a nice smooth draw. And uh, I went in the archery shop and I was like, man, I just need to find an answer on what bow it is. Well, they handed me the answer, Elite. I drew it back and chewed it, man. I was like, that. from that day on, I liked Elite, and then I became fond of a hunter bow and killed a lot of deer with it. What's the difference between the Elite and the Hunter? The Elite's just a little bit longer axle by axle, and the okay. Hunter's got a longer brace height on it. I got you. But yeah, my old Hunter, I should have never sold that sucker, but I killed a lot of deer, and it had a lot of luck to it. And uh, Finally, my buddy had his up for sale, and I bought it. It's got me a good eight point this year with it, so. You're back with them. I'm back with it. And uh, as far as quiver, I love this tight spot quiver. That sucker fit real close up to your bow, and it's easy to pull on and off. You just take it up and hang it up in the tree stand with you. Balance is good, too, if you yeah. got gotta leave it on your bow. Yeah. You can practice with it on or off. As far as arrows go, I got the uh, Gold Tip Expedition Hunters. They're cheap. But they work and they're tough. That they are. I've I, killed a lot of deer with them. I like gold tips too. Can't go wrong with any gold tip product. And uh, as far as a release too, I got this True Ball. I got it from down there at the local Academy Sports. It is a $49 release. I was in need of a release and I kind of took a liking to it. I mean, it's nothing special really. But is that on a rope or is yeah. that, is that a, kind of a straight deal? Yeah. Yeah, I like a rope release a little bit better. Just because if I'm climbing my tree stand, I'll just tuck it up under my my ba my band there and yeah. just climb the kind tree. Kind of gets out of the way. Yeah. And I think it helps me just kind of on a torque issue. But Okay. But yeah, that's, cool. that's kind of what I use. What so. poundage are you shooting? Are you shooting a 50-pound bow, 60-pound, 70-pound? This is a 65-pound Elite, Okay. which makes it even extra smooth. It feels like you're pulling back a kid's bow. Now, granted, <laughs> it ain't the fastest bow, but... It'll get them there and so we, get them know, killed. we know firsthand <laughs> it will kill a deer. Yeah. It? yeah, it'll do it. What you got? Man, I upgraded this year. I had the Elite Answer for a while, and this year I upgraded to the uh, the Matthews Triax. And let me tell you, this is one short bow. I mean, <laughs> we used to think the Hunter was short, but yeah. let's stand them up next to each other here. And you can see there's a big difference in axle to axle there. Yep. But this, this bow, we're both kind of impressed with it. Just how quiet and smooth this bow is. It's dead in the hands. Whenever you release the arrow, I mean, there's absolutely no hand shock whatsoever. It's it's pretty nice. We, we're we both, we're growing fond yeah, of I it. Yeah, I might have to get me one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I bought the 70, uh, 70 pound model. It draws great. I'm not gonna say it's an elite, but it's real close. It's getting there. Matthews has really stepped up their game with this bow. Um, I kind of decked it out a little bit. I kind of like the green look. So I got a Bojack stabilizer, some limb savers for it. I got a little, uh, I like kind of a fatter hand grip. So I got some tennis wrap and wrapped around the hand here. And it kind of keeps it insulated too from that bare metal and the real cold. And in uh, case anybody wants to play tennis, you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I got a bat ready for them. Uh, shooting a QAD rest and then this is a new addition i just got at the tail end of season it's the spot hog fast eddy i got the double pin which i don't know if y'all can see that or not but it's got two vertical stack pins on it and then it's got a predetermined distances based on your arrow speed and stuff of that nature that will uh for the single pin people who really like the thought and concept of multi-pins this is a good setup because you've got the best of both worlds. You've got pr two predetermined pins. So if I've got mine on 20, the second pin naturally sits at 40. So I know I can split the difference if he's at 30 and I'm there. So I don't have to sit there and readjust and 
things of that nature. Yeah, while we're on uh, sights real quick, Oh yeah. I've got the old seven pin sight uh, by Spot Hog, and I'm seriously thinking about switching to a single pin sight this year. And my line of thinking is just where we hunt at in Southeast Missouri, it's not like you're hunting over a bunch of food plots or nothing like that. You got thousands upon thousands of uh, government land. I mean, if I go over to his house, we got food plots, but it's basically hardwoods and ridges. And so basically, if you get a shot that's over 30 yards, that's a long shot. And uh, seven pins, I mean, I can go out to 80 yards with that, and I can shoot that at a target. But you know, My thought is, if I set that sucker at 22 yards from 20 to 30, I should be good. Just put the pin on the deer and squeeze it. So yep. I may be trying it out this year. I don't know. That's just the thought I've had. So we're both really liking the spot hogs. He's got the seven pin. I'm running the dual pin. Um, Spot hog makes a good sight. Yeah. They're, tough. They're tough. They're tough. Yeah. You can't mess them up. Yeah. Um, then I've got this little, ah, it's something I've done for a couple of years, but I just hang a piece of twine on the ball of my bow. And that way I can sit there and as my bow is hanging in the stand, I can watch and see if that wind's blowing and what direction that wind is blowing. So that's the key to hunting deer. Know your wind at all times. <laughs> and then just like Dustin, I'm shooting, uh, I'm shooting, uh, Gold tip arrows. I'm shooting a uh, Velocity XT 300. They're about 8.8 .8 grains an inch. Dustin did this real sweet uh, wrap job for me. I was having a little bit of clearance issues with this bow, um, just getting it to clear the cable with my old blazer veins. So I went to the uh, the bony heat veins. It's just a shorter profile blazer, a lot stiffer. And then we moved it up to a four fletch, and man, these things drill. And, and them are sweet looking and arrows. they look good so props to dustin on that one i almost stole them from him when i was fletching them <laughs> <laughs> yeah he ran off of one or two and then my release this year i've been shooting this for about three or four years as a uh, true fire hardcore four finger i cannot shoot them suckers <laughs> yeah he's a rest fan and i'm a i'm a handheld release guy i like hanging mine up and on my bow i can clip it on let go of it and it's it's there. They no. say you can't hit the broad side of a barn, but with one, when I put one of them on, I, I probably can because the target will be over here. Boom! <laughs> I hit the barn. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't use my release whenever we're out. He brings his own. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty much just kind of in a nutshell what we're shooting this year, folks. What's this little thing? Oh, that's my, that's my Bushnell range finder. Oh. I bought that a couple of years, man. I like that. Is that one that's got the, uh, it tells you the arc and everything? Yeah, yeah. It, it'll tell you the arc and it'll tell you the, uh, Oh, I forgot what they call it, but it'll show at the top your maximum clearance. Like if you're shooting at 40 or 50 yards, it'll put a bar up there. And you know at that arc of your arrow that if you have anything below that, that it will tell you that you're going to hit your arrow on it. That's handy. So it, so it puts a bar at your maximum arrow flight. So it, it's pretty handy. and. You know, through the trees and stuff like that, that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, especially um, at 55 yards when you're trying to shoot out into a field. I killed a deer like that one time, and like I said, I had the luck with the old elite bow. Shot at a doe one time at 55 yards, and I didn't figure in the arc of my arrow. So <laughs> when I shot it, it hit the limb, and then the deer heard the limb hit, so it dropped down to its belly. Well, it dropped right into my arrow and heart shot it, and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so you got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> the ricochet that into the luck. deer heart. And we got it on film, but it wasn't, we may put it up there sometime, but if I can find it still, it's on one of my old SD cards. But yeah, there was, there was some luck. Fred Bear had his hand on that arrow guiding it into the deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, like we said, we're just kind of figured we'd give you all a little rundown. Um, you may see us bow hunting some turkeys this year. We don't really for sure know yet. We like busting out the long guns whenever we get a chance on them. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the most experienced turkey hunter. I've only killed one or two. Ethan's the, the champ at that. But I love turkey hunting, man. First time I ever went turkey hunting. We had footage of that actually somewhere in one of our old uh, SD cards. First time he took me turkey hunting. I just had knee surgery. I was sitting in the blind. <laughs> Next thing you know, that old bird gobbled on the roost, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> they, they got was, a kick out of it. It was great, because he had a full leg cast with crutches, and we're hiking government for miles. 
and Miles. And I got a picture of him falling asleep and using a turkey decoy as a pillow. So <laughs> I tell you what, man, it doesn't matter what out. we do. Whatever kind of hunting it is, we like to do it. Yeah. I mean, if it was a weasel hunt, we'd go on it. Yep. In fact, I think you've been on a couple of weasel hunts. <laughs> I hunt. probably have. You know what I think would be fun this summer is once squirrel season kicks back up, we ought to film a squirrel bow hunt. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. That we'll get us some Walmart arrows and let's kill some squirrels. We're going to need some donations, by yeah, the way. Yeah, we'll need some donations for arrows. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. We'll, uh, we'll leave you to it tonight. We'll uh, catch up with you next time. All right. See you. See ya.